since we live in a rural area, we're still allowed to dig our own well. We still had to get it approved and get a permit from the county, which we got. And then we had to make a decision. Are we going to drill the well using a drill or using the pounding method? My husband wanted to go with the pounding method, which is rare. It's not very common anymore. So we found a gentleman that still does this. And you can see his truck is from 1942. It's very old, but my husband preferred this method over the drilling. Pretty much when we you get ready to drill a well, you should expect to go about 100 feet. So when you get a price, that's what they'll do. They'll charge you by the foot. Our well was $35 a foot, which isn't bad because um, I looked it up. You can pay as much as $100 a foot. It can get really pricey. We're, we've got good water here. We've had a well built before, so we knew that we had water on our property. Digging the well took about three days, between six and eight hours a day. And basically, this is what happened. You just could hear the motion of the well, the pounding, and it kind of sounded like music. There was a rhythm to it. I personally like the action and seeing the process, and that is why I enjoyed making this video. However, some of you probably are wondering, well, what does it entail? Like, what are the parts? How does the system work and all of that? So what I did is I found an article that in detail describes exactly what in, it involves in putting this together. So I have a link below. Um, you can go in and read this. Here's a diagram for you to look at, and it tells you exactly how this works, because I know some people are interested in that. Um, but I didn't want to put that in the video because it's more reading instead of, of seeing, if that makes sense. We were pretty fortunate. We hit water within like 15 feet. The guy digging the well was very impressed. He said he had been at other properties in the area, and it would take him you know, 75, 60, 75 feet before he could even hit the water. So we had a really good uh, place that we chose to put the well and within 15 feet, he hit it. Now, what he does after that, once they hit water, he dug down deeper and then they let the well pump and keep pumping water and see how long it will last. Because sometimes when you hit the water and you're pumping it out, all of a sudden it goes dry. So what they'll do is several hours just sit there watching it pump out the water. So I've got a little bit of a video here for you to see of him doing that. So what does one do while they're digging the well? Well, our previous well digger, he sat with his dog and kind of helped himself to his drink um, because he was bored. But this well digger, he just sat there and read a book or he sat and visited with his dog. And here's his helper who just patiently lays next to the truck and waits as his owner does his job. So that's what he does. Now, one of the things that they have to do once they hit the water is measure how many gallons are we getting per minute and make sure it's going to be a functioning well. Because just because water's coming up doesn't mean it will continue. So there are some technical things that they need to do. And you can sit here and if you'd like to, you can count. <laughs> I tried to, but then I lost count. It gets, it kind of lulls you to sleep. But that's what he's doing now. He's just trying to see how many gallons of water am I pulling up? And that's it as far as the well. We've got it dug, we've got it capped and ready to hook to the house, but we're not gonna hook it yet because we're gonna have to dig a trench. And we basically, I think my husband's planning on putting the septic in himself. We haven't made that decision, but once somebody comes out to dig the trenches or if he rents a piece of equipment to do it himself, that's when we'll dig the trench to bring the well line to the house. So that's all gonna be done when the septic goes in. But right now the well is dug, it's ready to go. We wanted to just make sure we had access to water before we got too far with the bill. Hope you enjoyed it and you have a wonderful day and we'll see you.
see you on the next video.